Hey guys, uh, welcome to the video. Today I'll be talking a little bit about opal doublets. So this little beautiful piece here is an Australian opal doublet. Doublet implying two pieces. So this is two pieces here stuck together. As you can see on the bottom, we have the iron stone. And then sitting on the top, we have the slice of crystal opal. And these two materials are glued together to create a beautiful opal doublet. Now, an opal doublet can be made from any type of opal. There's Ethiopian opal doublets, there's Australian opal doublets, uh, there's Brazilian opal doublets. So, I'd say the most common would be Australian. Australian opal doublets, and that would be the most popular. This one here is an Australian um, opal doublet. You can see the unique pattern in it, the nice multicolours. This is a good size doublet. Um, so some people will say, you know, like doublets are worth nothing, but I would highly um, disagree with that. Uh, I've seen doublets sell for more than solid opals before. So a solid opal would be obviously an opal that is um, a solid piece of opal, not, not two pieces glued together. You know, I kind of see it, I kind of see it like, you know, if someone says, you know, bread and milk is worth nothing because it's, you know, three or four dollars down at the shop, you know, yes, it, it does cost less than other food, but it doesn't mean it's not worth anything. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot of time and skill and quality craftsmanship to, to craft, uh, you know, a beautiful doublet, a well-made doublet. You need to learn how to craft them properly for them to um, have that longevity. And I think doublets are beautiful because, you know, they really do pop with colour. Sometimes um, if the solid stone isn't of a high, high quality, um, you won't see that colour really, really popping. But usually with doublets, it, it just um, makes that colour pop, you know gives you that extra sort of party vibe. Um, so yeah, I I, um, I like doublets, they're beautiful. Um, usually they will sell for about a tenth of what a solid would be worth. That's what sort of the, the going sort of um, ratio price is. But as I said, you know, no two opals are the same, no two doublets are the same. Um, so, you know, you have, you have your real, real high, rare doublets as well. They sell, sell in the hundreds, even thousands. Um, I think it's important to, to look out for the opal you're buying and um, make sure the person who's selling it to you isn't selling you a, um, a doublet and calling it a solid. Some people try and get away with this. They try and rip people off and say it's, say it's a uh, solid stone when it's really a doublet. So be, be careful when you're buying to make sure that you are buying the right thing. If you're, if you're wanting to buy a doublet, make sure it's a doublet. If you're wanting to buy a solid, make sure it's a solid. Remember, doublet is two pieces glued together. You can always usually tell when it's a doublet. And then there's triplet. So triplet would be the base, the potch. Then the, then the opal, the crystal, and then it's got a glass capping on top. So that's a triplet. So there's triplets, and there's doublets, which is what this is. And then there's solids. Three ways that opal come in. And yeah, guys, that's a little bit about, a little bit about doublets. And um, hope you enjoyed. Cheers.